Good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options with your morning market preparation video for November 20th, 2017. So we have a holiday week ahead of us. Uh, Thanksgiving on Thursday, which can mean some really weird price action uh, could occur in the market. Typically, we see... Uh, the volume start to drop off as we head into Wednesday. Um, don't be surprised to see volumes get very light, choppy price action, as many, many, many traders will be taking Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. So watch that closely and um, move forward with just a little bit of caution um, in this week. Now, I personally look at these markets and I see a deadlock. And here's what I'm looking at. First off, let's take a look at the diamonds here. Diamonds, we have this lower high now. We had a, a nice bullish push up last Thursday. But unfortunately, the diamonds decided to completely reverse that all at once on Friday. Um, really unfortunate that that occurred to flip it back and forth like that. So right now what I see here in the diamonds is a lower high below price resistance. And this support area is going to be very critical. If you know, remember I, all last week I talked about the importance of follow through. We need follow through. And we didn't get that on this push in the diamonds. So if we were to happen to get a follow through to the downside, on the diamonds that could really embolden those bears a little bit to start pushing the market lower if we start breaking price supports like that however on the other hand if we are able to um, hold this if the bulls can sustain and hold this we could end up with a bullish pattern here so we're kind of locked in this dance right now and and we have to look at the other markets um, in combination. If we take a look at the Qs, now the Qs are the strongest, I believe, of the indexes, and you can see still holding their trend nicely. Um, just showing an inside day here on Friday. So if the if the bulls were able to manage a breakout here, new record high kind of thing. On, on the NASDAQ, that could embolden those bulls to start pushing the other indexes back up. So we're kind of stuck in this very tight range deadlock um, around these indexes with the diamonds kind of being in question, the Qs um, the strongest, and the SPY somewhere in the middle. SPY, you know, not a full reversal of that day, an inside day, on that candle but certainly not a big vote of confidence that it could break out here anytime soon so we kind of in that place here on the SPY where we could flip either direction pretty easily now the futures this morning are somewhat mixed and they were very bearish overnight but we've got just a little tiny mix in the futures right now with most of them kind of leaning to the downside, flat to the downside um, so far this morning. Um, on the uh, news front, on the economic calendar, we really don't have anything that's going to move this market a ton. You know, we have these leading indicators at 10 o'clock, but nothing here would be expected to move the market at all um, today. So nothing in that news that's going to help us much. And on the earnings front, we have, oh, just over 50 companies reporting earnings today. And with those earnings, we've got, um, you know, a few companies of note, but probably the bigger ones are after the close today, um, in these earnings reports down here. Um, let me see. If we adjust those a little bit, you can see here in the morning, we don't have too many what I would consider to be really big earnings reports. Now, um, Urban is already reported this morning, and I haven't seen the results of that report. Um, that was one that was going to report this morning, and there's several that already have reported. But if you look after market, we have, you know, Pan W is one of those companies that can um, really move around and into it is one that's an important one this afternoon. But other than that, pretty pretty light 
um, on the calendar. So I wouldn't expect earnings to really shove us around much either. Um, let's take a real quick look at URBN. Looks like URBN reported, must have reported just slightly positive, moving higher here at the open today. So here we are, we're kind of looking at a flat open. We're kind of looking at a market that is deadlocked between a, a range with the diamond showing some bearishness, with the Q showing some bullishness, with the SPY kind of stuck in the middle. And then we have poor IWM and IWM well below resistance. We had a, a nice reversal pattern here, but we're, we've rallied right back into resistance here on IWM. And um, really not going to provide much help to the market here so that's where we are let's take a quick look at the vix the vix you know normally you would have thought that that big rally would have really crushed the vix but it didn't um we moved down and we held this price support and you can see this this area right here we're holding that price so if the bears were to take over from here, this would be the first higher low, um, significant higher low, I will, I will say, in the VIX in some time. So if we see the bears start coming in and pushing, we could see that VIX um, spike. So be careful here. So here's, here's the long and short of it. We're kind of stuck in a range. We're stuck in a range in a in a deadlock bulls and bears are fighting it out and we're doing that in a rising volatility market which means for us as retail traders we don't have much for edge here and that puts us puts me in a situation where i want to be pretty cautious going in uh to today i certainly don't want to be chasing anything i will most likely be focused on taking some profits and cleaning up my account uh, before we reach um, Wednesday or as we reach Wednesday just so that I can take a, a really light risk into the holiday weekend so with that in mind hey I want to wish everyone a great day I, I hope um, I hope the bulls take over I really do that's where I want the market to go but I can't I'm, I'm not going to uh, bet my bias in the market and um, if this is the first time you've seen this information, please do me a favor. I do this every single day, every single market day. I put out a video <clears throat> to help others um, with their preparation for the day. If you find this useful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook, and please feel free to uh, to comment and to, to share this video with, with anyone. Also, if you could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. If you click those like buttons, that does help me out in um, showing this video to other people as those algorithms pick up those likes and show it to more people. Everyone take care. Have a great day, and I will talk to you all very, very soon.